hello guys this is T Port Guides and this is our tutorial on how to run your Java source files on CMD which is command prompt so the first thing you need to do is go to Google and search JDK download once you've done that press enter and then click on the first link that says uh, www.oracle.com once you've clicked it look for uh, where it says Java Platform JDK and then click the download icon just above it once you've clicked that um, go down here whatever your operating system is find the right one and click on uh, the download link on the side of it um, my operating system is a 64-bit so I downloaded um, this one um, if you're not sure what operating system what, what bit your operating system is the way to find out is doing this um, go to computer right click then properties then as you could see here it says 64-bit operating system yours could say the um, 86 uh, operating system or it could say 32 operating system uh, for the 32 you need to search on Google for the 32 bit and download download it so um, the 64 bit I'll click on it we must first agree to the terms uh, so the license you click accept then you click download and then save file I've already saved this file so I'm not gonna save it again um, it's on my desktop um, it's here so once you've downloaded you double click then uh, here you click next then you click then you click uh, next again and it starts installing downloading and um, installing it to the your computer uh, because I've already installed this I'm going to cancel this okay once you've installed j the JDK what you need to do next is um, make your source file I've done a source file here I've written a code in Java so I'm g we need to now save this as a dot Java file so what I would do is I'm gonna name it the same as my class which is test class dot Java and I'm going to uh, put it in the same directory in the same folder as um, what my notepad source file was so I've put it there what we need to do now is go to start then search CMD and then click on the first one that says program CMD on here now looking at this directory it says we in uh, C drive then user then um, forward slash Orman um, we need to um, locate this uh, directory to the folder that we saved our test class dot Java so it would be CD desktop then from desktop it was uh, Java exercises so it'd be CD Java exercises and now I want to look if that that is the right folder so what I would do is type dir and see if my file is in there okay my file is in there so we are in the correct directory so what, what we need to do now is put java c dot um, then the name of our dot java file test class dot java before I press enter I know that this is going to give us an error and the reason is that we haven't added a environmental uh, variable environment variable so as you can see we've got error so now to fix this error is what you need to do is 
what you need to do is go to um, my computer again then properties and then uh, advanced system settings then click on environment variables and on here we need to add a new user variable uh, so before we add the user variable we need to look for the location of where we have saved the JDK that we installed where that is installed to so the way you find that is press uh, my computer then local drive then it has to be in program files it could also be in the other program files as well so lo look in there as well but I know that my one is in here so I'm gonna go directly to there so then it's Java then you, sometimes you can see only one folder here but sometimes you see only um, two folders so click on this one then click on bin then on here you need to this is the important part so you need to copy this directory that's copy um, so go back to the place the let's go back to my computer um, no let's right click my computer system properties okay now it's advanced system settings environment variables so we click now we click new so the name of our variable is path the value of it is the this the location of our bin folder in the JDK that we installed so once you click OK now you click OK again then OK again then you should be sorted so now let's try and um, run compile our java dot, dot java file again it will give me an error again uh, the reason why that is is because I need to re uh, restart the CMD so close CMD then uh, search CMD press enter uh, now CD desktop uh, then java x CD Java exercises. So now DIR. Let me just look. Okay. Now we do the same thing. Java C. C stands for compile. Then our Java's Java files name. Dot Java. Okay. Now it's compiling. And uh, as you can see, it compiled and it found that we had four errors. Um, once you fix these errors, um, then once you compile again, you should see in the same folder as your .java file, you should see a new file uh, that ends with .class. And that's how um, you would know that it's compiled correctly. Um, this, is, this tutorial is it for now. Uh, please subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel. Um, I tend to do more tutorials to help you guys out in these type of situations where you guys are having problems or finding it difficult to understand a topic on Java. So uh, thank you for listening to me. See you guys soon.